afternoon. Mrs. Barkley? Yes, and this is my daughter, Audra. Hello. How do you do? I'm Mr. Birch. How do you do? I've got three convicts back there for you. Only three? Well, it's all the warden could spare. You want them to go to work right away? Oh, well, no, no, you've had a hard journey. Tomorrow morning will be time enough to start work. They'll be quartered in the bunkhouse. Well, the safest place for them jackals is where they are right now, in the wagon. Overnight? There's hardly enough room to breathe in there. They were hired to pick your peach crop. They can breathe when they're working. I wouldn't quarter an animal in that wagon, Mr. Birch. If that's the way you want it. I don't know how your men will feel bunking with convicts, ma'am. The men are on a cattle drive. The bunkhouse is empty. Now, will you please get those men out of that wagon? Yes, ma'am. All right, away from the door! Keep your eye for yourself. Come on, Damien. What are you waiting for? Come on. That's scum. Worse than a lot. Jackals like these have to be treated like wild animals. Let them out of their cages and there's no telling what they're liable to do. Don't touch me. like you've got a little problem there. Jared, what are you doing home? I thought you were going to be in Sacramento for another week. Well, so did I. But I had to come back to Stockton to check some records at the courthouse. Oh. Looks like I'll be here a couple of days. What's the matter with the foal? Well, we're trying to get him to eat. The mare won't feed him. Not at all? Every time he goes near her, she kicks at him. Well, she'll probably get used to him in a couple of days. There's some ham in the warmer. Have you had your dinner? 
No, and I am starved. I'll fix you something. Uh, by the way, what's that prison wagon doing out there? Oh. Well, there was a case of typhoid on the cattle drive, and all the men are in quarantine near Calistoga. Quarantine? Nick and Heath, too? Yes, and they won't be back for at least another week, which created a little problem for us. We have a peach crop that should be picked and no one to pick it. So I decided to hire some convicts from the state prison. You hired convicts? They arrived this afternoon. You're for that, aren't you, Jared? Yeah, yeah, I'm for that. But not with everybody gone. Oh, Jared, all we've ever heard about convicts is they're not to be trusted, that, that they should be treated like dangerous animals. Now, isn't that the reason we joined the Prison Reform Association, because we disagreed with that? Now, Mother, that's not the point. Isn't it? Next month, we go before the legislature to try and get a parole system started. And when we do, we should be able to offer them more than just theories. Now, Jared, you're a lawyer. Wouldn't it make our case much stronger if we could tell them that we've actually worked with prisoners? And that we know from experience they can and will respond to trust and fairness. I'll fix your dinner. You know, sometimes I think she should have been the lawyer in this family. I think you're right. Where are those men quartered? They're in the bunker. Jared Barkley. Mr. Barkley, Mr. Birch. You thought Barkley was head of the committee investigating the prisons a while back? Yeah, that's right. I got to be honest with you, Mr. Barkley. Uh, I think you folks on the outside got a lot to learn about convicts. I mean, especially this parole business of yours. Now, that ain't going to work. What makes you say that? Criminals can change, Mr. Barkley. No more than a wild cat can change. I don't think I agree with that, Mr. Birch. Yeah. Well, right. Sit up, Mr. Barkley. I'm There's listen. no need for that, Mr. Birch. Let them stay where they are. It's up to you, but they don't deserve no favors, none of them. Let me introduce you. Jamie Stats. He's in for rape and assault. Jack Dobbs, knife to ranch in Benicia. Killed him. Damien, hold up. But for my money, he's the worst of the lot. men have been hired to pick peaches. I suppose you've already been told that. They ain't allowed to talk without permission, Mr. Barkley. Easy to keep him in line that way. That may be true in prison, Mr. Birch, but not here. I don't have the authority to change the warden's orders, Mr. Barkley. I'm giving you that authority. As I understand it, as long as you're on this ranch, you're under my orders. I'll take full responsibility. As long as you put it that way, Mr. Barkley. I want you men to understand something. As long as you're on this ranch, you can talk freely, just like any of the other workers. I want you to understand something else. Picking peaches is not as easy as you might think. This ranch has a reputation for three things. Good food, clean beds, and fair treatment. Any questions? All right. I'll probably be gone before you leave in the morning, Mr. Birch. So if there's anything you need or want, you check with Mrs. Barkley. I'll do that.
you staring at? It's that yellow-haired gal's window. She's probably sitting in front of her mirror, brushing her hair, brushing, and brushing, and brushing. Shut up. You know, I was in that room. I'd come up, kind of quiet, like behind her. I'd place both my hands on her shoulders. She'd see him in the mirror. And then I'd smell that perfume on her neck. I'd begin to stroke her hair slowly. I'd bring my face down close to hers. And then... inside. Good morning. Morning, ma'am. We're all set, ma'am. Good. I'll get my horse and take you out to the orchard. You? That's right. Here it is, Mrs. Barclay. Oh, Silas, put it in the wagon, please. Yes. Silas makes a special kind of stew. All it needs is dishing out. Look at the trained hound. There's no trained hound around here, fella. Unless that's what you call someone who works for a living. All right, what are you waiting for? Get in the cage. Jackals. Anything you want to tell them before they start work? It just occurred to me, I don't even know your name. What's the matter, you deaf? Lady's asking for your name. Jack Dobbs, ma'am. Jack Dobbs. And you're... My name's Jamie Stats. Jamie Stats. And you're... Damien. Damien. That's an interesting name, Damien. Like the leper. Do you know anything about peaches, Damien? Enough to spit out the pits. Watch your tongue. Mr. Birch, when the wagon is loaded, drive it to the packing shed at the west end and unload it. Yes, ma'am. Any one of you know how to drive a team? Not me. Oh, I never drive a team. No. May I see your hands, Damien? Do you mind? There's only one way to get calluses between the fingers like that. From rain. I can't drive. Get your train hound to do it. I said, watch your tongue, Jackal. 
That's all right, Mr. Birch. I'll drive it myself. See you later, sir. All right, you've been loafing long enough. Get the basket, start picking the peaches. No! Some water, Birch. Yeah, he'll get some when we stop for chow. Get that loaded. Hey, Damien, look at here. Fresh mushroom. I ain't had one for years. No. Hey, what's the matter with you? It's red milk mushroom, like toadstool. Toadstool, you sure? <laughs> Well, it's a good thing you noticed. I might have been killed. No, it can't kill you. It can make you sick enough to wish you were dead, though. All right, you two, quit that yap and get back to work. <laughs> Dobbs, I'm hungry too. Sit down where I can watch you. What's going on? You put something into the stew. You're trying to poison me. Who did it? You. Answer! I swear it. I'll find out. Get up. Get up, all of you. In the wagon. Stool in the stew. Inside. Get 
away from the door. How did you get away? Birch eats too much. Much obliged. Damien, I'm not afraid to use this. Go ahead. Dead's better than these chains. Damien, a lot of people are trying to do away with those chains. Help prisoners earn freedom, real freedom. Come back with me and you'll have a chance for it too. Pretty words. And your kind are good with those words, but they don't mean nothing, nothing at all. The next shot goes through your leg. Get out of the way. You're not going to touch him again. He tried to poison me. He's being punished. Not while I'm here. Get out of the way, girl. What's going on here, Birch? This jackal tried to poison me. Cut him loose. Now, Mr. Barkley. I said cut him loose. All right. You won't get no thanks, I warn you. What are you staring at? Get to your bunks. 
What is it? Did you see that tattoo? He was a buffalo soldier, Audra. Ninth Cavalry, part of my own regiment. Preservation, compassion, brotherhood. That was our regiment motto. Come to the aid of a soldier any time, any place. At any price. Sit there all day, get the horse inside. There's a bad cut on that tendon. It ought to be cleaned out. I thought you didn't know anything about horses. Anybody can see Fester. You just haven't learned your lesson, have you, Jackal? Or maybe you think the people around here are going to protect you. But you just remember this. We're not staying here forever. Another week, we'll be back in prison. And you're gonna find out that beating was just the beginning. I'm gonna get you, Jackal, you hear? Now, get that horse in the barn. Does that help? Mud poultice is always good when nothing else is handy. That's a good thing to know. Damien? Would you help my colt? I can't get him to eat. And he got no ma? Yes, but she won't nurse him. I've tried everything. Hand feeding, mashed grain. He won't touch it. What's keeping you? Get outside. There's nothing I can do. Come on, man. 
along with it. That was very nice, Jamie. You played well. Thank you, ma'am. You? Sounds nice, ma'am. I don't like lemonade. Damien? You make it? Mm-hmm. My son tells me you were a buffalo soldier. He saw the tattoo mark on your arm. What's he know about buffalo soldiers? Oh, he commanded a platoon of them during the war. Part of your same regiment. He tell you why the Indians call us that? It's because we reminded them of buffaloes. Mean-eyed buffaloes. How'd you fancy son like leading a pack like that? Jared said they were the finest, bravest men he has ever known. That tattoo don't mean nothing. It was a long time ago. Means you know a lot about horses. Maybe. What difference does it make? Damien, you saw Audra's fool. Now, if he doesn't take nourishment pretty soon, he's going to die. Do you think you could do anything to help him? Why should I? Because to a buffalo soldier, a good horse is the most important thing there is. And that foal, that foal is a good horse. I ain't a buffalo soldier no more. Aren't you? And why did you pack that horse's leg? Don't try and trick me, Lenny. Let me see your back. That's nothing. Let me see your back. Those welts have broken open again. You shouldn't have worked the orchard. You're not going back until they're healed. You bargain me? Is that it, lady? My back for her cult? No matter what you do about that cult, you are not going back to the orchard until those welts have closed. This is a big ranch. And there are plenty of horses on it. Why does she care so much about this one cult? She cares because she's loved horses all her life. When she was eight, she was showing stallions. Now, I don't have to tell you, Damien, but someone like that, there's always one special horse for Audra. It's that bull. Please help her keep him, Damien. <laughs> Let's see if your mother will give you some breakfast. <laughs> Easy. Easy. 
She shouldn't be in there when she's loose. How else am I going to get her to feed him? Build a stanchion. And she'll have to feed him. How? I'll have to show you. Hardly ever since I've been here, you've been ignoring my advice. Well, I'm telling you this. That lazy, no-good jackal ain't staying here loose when I'm in the orchard, and that's all that's to it. Well, he can't build a stanchion tied to a post. Well, then he ain't gonna build it. Not without a guard. He gets away, it means my job, even if it was your orders. All right, all right. I'll stand guard. I'll keep a gun on him the entire time he's working. She can't stop him. And he can eat till he busts. All he needs is showing. So let's uh, get him started. OK, boy. Chow time. Easy, easy, girl. Easy. Come on. Come on, easy. Easy. Come on, easy. Good. It worked. He's eating. He's going to be all right, Damien. Yeah. He's going to be all right. Hold 
that big boy's got it sweeter than you have, Birch. That yellow-haired gal beats peaches any day. Go on, unhitch the horses. <laughs> Got him on solid food. So I see. What's that you've got him eating? Chicken mash and milk. <laughs> I think there's one brother Nick hasn't even heard of. Uh, Audra, speaking of solid food, would you go tell Mother I'm home and about as starved as that little fella is? I'll be along in a couple of minutes. All right. That foal means a great deal to Audra, Damien. I want you to know we're grateful. Man, what you came to say. No. No, but that's part of it. I'm going back to Sacramento in the morning. I'm going to speak to the prison authorities there. We're trying to start a parole system, Damien. If we do, I want yours to be one of the first hearings. Just because of him? Not exactly. What were those words? Preservation, compassion, brotherhood. I think you still believe in them. You're wrong. I was kicked out of the army. The fancy young lieutenant. Using Indian prisoners for target practice. Even women. And I stopped him. I stopped him cold. Ten years of my life, I give him. And they give me a dishonorable discharge. Now, you... You still want to... try for that parole hearing? Harder than ever, I think. Good night, Damien. You ain't getting no parole here. Not if I can help it. All right, get the horses hitched. You too. You're coming with us today. I know I saw you feed him. Toadstool, still using the same thing, ain't you? What are you trying to say? You're not getting away with it this time, Damien. I didn't kill him. You know that. Who else? You fed him, you were the last one in here. No. You was. I don't know when, but you was. So this is how you're going to break me, by Killing this helpless little cult. This is what you meant about my parole. I'm going to kill you, Birch. Damien, no, that's what he wants you to do. Get back, Curly. What's going on? Your friend here fed toadstools to the cult, killed her. That's not true. You stay back there, you and that yellow-haired gal.
Here's keys. Unlock these chains. Then you and Damien saddle up with the horses. We're getting out of here. They coming with us? You bet. There's no need for that. We'll even be here. Uh uh. They'd be good hostages. Yeah. They're gonna come in mighty handy. Especially this one here. Now you leave her being. Now go on, saddle up them horses. Damien, Birch is dead. And we're all convicts. The law ain't gonna care who did it. Damien. Sooner or later, you're going to have to kill us. I said, sail up them horses. Not for long, Damien. You've got nothing but trouble to report to the prison authorities. Oh, no. We have you to tell them about. You think they'll take stock of me? I think they will, Damien. Good luck. Mrs. Barkley, you may not get your parole system started. But it's good to know that there are people like you outside who care. I'm sorry about that fall. I know, Damien. When you're free, you can help me train another one. And this is my daughter, Audra. Hello. How do you do? I'm Mr. Birch. How do you do? I've got three convicts back there for you. Only three? Well, it's all the warden could spare. You want them to go to work right away? Oh, well, no, no. You've had a hard journey. Tomorrow morning will be time enough to start work. They'll be quartered in the bunkhouse. Well, the safest place for them jackals is where they are right now, in the wagon. Overnight? There's hardly enough room to breathe in there. They were hired to pick your peach crop. They can breathe when they're working. I wouldn't quarter an animal in that wagon, Mr. Birch. If that's the way you want it. I don't know how your men will feel bunking with convicts, ma'am. The men are on a cattle drive. The bunkhouse is empty. Now, will you please get those men out of that wagon? Yes, ma'am. All right. 
Away from the door! Move along. Keep your eye to yourself. Come on, Damien. What are you waiting for? Come on. That scum. Worse than a lot. Jackals like these have to be treated like wild animals. Let them out of their cages and there's no telling what they're liable to do. Don't touch me. Looks like you've got a little problem there. Jared, what are you doing home? I thought you were going to be in Sacramento for another week. Well, so did I. But I had to come back to Stockton to check some records at the courthouse. Oh. Looks like I'll be here.